Hello everyone. Today we are going to design a short square column. Let us read the question and write the given data. Design a short square column of size 600 mm into 600 mm subjected to a factored load of 1500 kN using M20 concrete and FE415 steel. The column is pinned at both the ends with an unsupported length of 3 meter. The unsupported length L is given as 3 meter. We can convert that into millimeter. The size of the square is given as 600 millimeter into 600 millimeter. Let us keep one side as D. FCK is given as 20. FI is given as 415. And the factored load is given as 1500. First, we have to find the effective length. In the question, it is given that the column is pinned at both the ends. We have to select this condition effectively held in position at both the ends but not restrained against rotation. Here, the effective length is 1 L. So, the effective length and the unsupported length will be same, that is 3000 mm. Now let us check if the column is short or slender. We have to use these two formulas and check. In our case, LEX and LEY will be equal to LE. D and B also will be 600. So we can check only one time. For LE upon D, we will get 5 which is less than 12. So it is a short column. Now let us find the minimum eccentricity. Let us open this code book, page number 42. All the columns shall be designed for minimum eccentricity equal to the unsupported length of the column upon 500 plus lateral dimensions upon 30 subjected to a minimum of 20 mm. The unsupported length is 3000 and D is 600. When we calculate this, we will get 26. From these two, we have to take the maximum value, 26 mm is maximum, so the minimum eccentricity is 26 mm. To find the area of the longitudinal reinforcement, ASC, we can use this formula. To use this formula, there is one condition. We have to check whether the column is actually loaded. When the minimum eccentricity as per 25.4, does not exceed 0 0.05 times the lateral dimension 0 0.05 into D we will get 30 which is more than 26 so the minimum eccentricity does not exceed 0 0.05 times the lateral dimension so the column is actually loaded and we can use this equation to find the area now let us use this formula and find the ASC First, let us find the grass area. We know that it is a square column having the size as 600 into 600. So, for the area, we will get this. We know that the grass area is equal to area of the concrete plus area of the steel. So, AC will be AG minus ASC. In this formula, let us apply everything. For ASC, we will get a negative value. That means this column does not need reinforcement. The concrete is enough to withstand the load. But anyway, we have to provide the reinforcement. Let us open this book, page number 48. In any column that has a larger cross-sectional area than that required to support the load, the minimum percentage of steel shall be based upon the area of the concrete required to resist the direct stress and not upon the actual area. That means in this formula, we should not consider this term. We have to find the area of the concrete, then we have to decide the reinforcement. We know the value of PU and FCK. Finally, for the area of the concrete, we will get this. We know that the cross-sectional area of longitudinal reinforcement shall be not less than 0.8% and not more than 6% of the gross cross-sectional area of the column. 
but here we have to design the percentage according to the area of the concrete not as per the cross sectional area let us assume that the area of the steel is 0.8 times ac so 0.8 upon 100 into ac in this way for asc we will get 1500 millimeter square now let us use the trial and error method and find the number of bars and the diameter of the bars. I have tried with the four numbers and the diameter of 22. I am getting an area approximately equal to this area. So let us provide four number of 22 millimeter diameter bars. Now let us design the lateral ties. First let us design the diameter of the lateral ties. Let us open this book page number 49. The diameter of the lateral ties shall be not less than one fourth of the diameter of the largest longitudinal bar. We are using only 22 millimeter diameter bars. 22 upon 4 it will be 4.4 .4. and the diameter should be in no case less than 6 millimeter. So the diameter of lateral ties should not be less than these two. In this case, let us keep the diameter of the lateral ties as 8 mm. Now let us design the pitch. The pitch of the transverse reinforcement shall be not more than the least of the following distances. The least lateral dimension of the compression member. 16 times the smallest diameter of the longitudinal reinforcement bar. Finally, 300 mm. From these three, we have to select the minimum value that is 300 let us keep the diameter of lateral ties as 8 mm at the spacing of 300 mm. Here you can see the cross section and the longitudinal section with the reinforcement details. Let us keep 40 mm as the clear cover. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.